And I think we're gonna have to just deal with that because that, that box is gonna go in like a day. So, okay, I have my empties in here. Now, I do wanna start off by saying that a lot of these are from my shop because I needed to get rid of some of my soy formula and um, they were fine blends and everything like that, but I did just wanna start off by saying a lot of them are from my shop, pot print melts. I do <laughs> warm other uh, vendors wax and everything like that. It's just so much easier for me to just grab some of mine from down in the basement. So I just wanted to start off with that. Okay, so let's start with whatever's on top. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, so uh, pharmacist daughter, concession stand, summer scoop, funnel cake, caramel apple, cotton candy. This is a favorite of mine. Um, there's still a little bit in there, but I'm not going to melt that a little bit. Um, this is a favorite of mine. I went to one of the county fairs uh, last last Sunday, so just a couple days ago. And that whole day, like Saturday and Sunday, I kept warming like fair scents because I was like, I just, I want to want to get it out of the way. Like this is the time for it. Our state fair is supposed to be, I think it starts sometime this week and goes till Labor Day. Um, I'm not going to that because um, I did the one of the bigger county fairs, which was comparable to the state fair. But anyways, so that's why I did that one. Let's see here. All right. Um, paw print melts, winter wonderland, cinnamon, clove, orange, musk, French vanilla. And obviously, um, let's see here. Clove is not a big favorite of mine. I know I've mentioned that before. Um, I feel like in this one, you, you can smell the clove, but it's not overpowering. So that one's a good one to me. <laughs> um, let's see. This one I just melted last night. It is... Oh, sorry. I'm like trying to figure out where everything is. Um, dark Mysterious Waters, Spiced Tobacco Leaf, Aged Teakwood, and Flying Broomsticks. This is from waxsub.com. It was really good. Um, I will say it was very cologne because of like the spiced tobacco leaf and the teakwood. Um, the tobacco leaf, even though it said spiced, it, it didn't bother me until probably like a few hours into it. And... I was fine because I was going to bed and I was like, it's going in my open concept. It's fine. But um, I really like that. And I just got this recently from Summer in a random act of kindness. So um, yeah, that was really good. Okay. Rustic Woods from the Pharmacist Daughter. Fluffy Towels, Cedar, Pine, Fir, Blue Sugar. This is, um, I mean, very masculine because of the blue sugar, but um. Also, the fluffy towels, this made me think of, you know, just a, a laundry scent. But actually, when I had this in there, um, I very much smelt the, all the tree scents and, like, a little bit of the blue sugar. So, and it was a green color, and I was so confused because I was like, what, what do I have in the warmer that's, like, a lime green? And that's, that's what color it was. Okay. Um, a sample from Lavender and Speckles. Vanilla, blah, vanilla sandalwood and mahogany coconut. I had this in my old bedroom, bedroom, and I feel bad because I didn't smell too much of it. It was probably just me because in my bedroom I have a really big warmer and I need to fix that because then I just feel like I'm wasting so much wax and this sample size, I mean, was very, very generous and my warmer just is so big and I'm like, oh. I don't know. <laughs> I need to find a smaller warmer. So I smelled it for a little bit, but that was my fault. I shouldn't have done that. Um, Marshmallow Fireside and Spearmint, another one, um, another sample from Lavender and Speckles. Um, smelled really good. I smelled more than Marshmallow Fireside. Um, I think I would like to have that one in like, not in a regular sample or not a regular sample, sorry, regular size. That one I really liked. Um, fair food from the pharmacist daughter, pumpkin peanut brittle, circus concession, glazed donuts. Love this. Um, I, like I said, I have my fair ones going, but, um, love this. I've said numerous times that, I, that I'll keep repurchasing this. I think this is like my third time repurchasing this. Um, honestly, everything is just amazing from the pharmacist daughter, the pumpkin peanut brittle, the sir, like everything is just like, I feel like an even like third and I love it. So 
wonderful. Okay, uh, from that Smell Good shop. Sorry, I don't know why I keep doing that. Lavender, chamomile, peppermint, pink chiffon. This I put, again, in my bedroom. But I think because the lavender chamomile came across pretty strong, my, my room actually smelled really well for having a sample size. Um, but I need to really stop doing that. Because <laughs> I just feel like then I'm just wasting samples. Um, cashmere, cedar, bum bum. So, fun story. If you go back six plus months ago when I lived in my apartment, L3 did not work for me or very, um, very select scents did. And that's why I didn't, I didn't understand. Like I, I loved L3 because of the pricing and stuff like that. Like they have so many things in stock all the time, different sizes and stuff. But I was like, I just can't get behind L3 right now because nothing's really working or if it's working, it's like a couple cents. Well, I got, um, these L3, cause I have another one, um, samples from summer and cashmere cedar bum bum worked amazing in my house and I have the AC on because we're under like a heat advisory and I'm I'm melting I'm dying it's just oh but um it worked amazing so I think it was just just my apartment that like L3 just really couldn't work well in and I'm excited to try rose girls here in my actual house because I felt like in my apartment too it was kind of hit or miss as well but l3 was really like mostly miss so anyways cashmere cedar bum bum it was great the cashmere and the bum bum together amazing um i will be purchasing from l3 knowing that they work in my house i just oh and i i'm so excited because i kept seeing all these hauls for them and i'm like well yep those scents sound wonderful i can't enjoy them but hey <laughs> like i'm glad that everyone else can but i'm so excited now um Buttermint, peppermint, uh, wonderful, good, yeah, just, I mean, 50-50. You can smell the buttermints, you can smell the peppermints, wonderful, um, would love that for, like, Christmas time. Let's see here, oh, I think, oh, here's my other fair one from the pharmacist's daughter. Uh, Coastal Fair, which is candy, oh, no, can't read, cotton candy, funnel cake, salted caramel pumpkin, candied apple, cinnamon, sugar donuts so probably out of all the fair ones coastal fair and it's it's not saying much but it's probably my least favorite of the three um concession stand is my my first favorite and then fair food is my second favorite Oop, there we go fair food and then um coastal fair but they're all wonderful i mean i love all of them so yay all right let's do another l3 egyptian Amber, Palo Santo, OMG, Olive. So I didn't know what OMG, Olive was because I don't think I smelt any of that. Um, but little sample. I smelled the Palo Santo. I smelled some, I don't know if it was Egyptian Amber, but Amber um, was really good. Oh gosh, you guys, I'm just so excited about L3 working in my house. Um, let's see here. Uh, from my shop now anything with like this blue is the soy formula so I'm trying to like I said get rid of all that stuff because I have paraffin soy now um, apples and peaches plus cornbread it I mean all the notes are right there so you get some apples uh, peaches and then the cornbread I want to say that the apples and peaches are a little mostly the peaches is a little heavier than the cornbread but I think it's great and I don't really like um, peach smells that well. Oop. Um, vanilla bean Noel. It's a Bath and Body Works type. Vanilla sugar and bakery. This just a really good vanilla smell. Um, yeah, I think it's um like Christmas candle dupe. I mean, I know it's a dupe, but I think it's a Christmas candle. Um, let's see here. Let's go down here. Lavender and speckles, leaves and smoke, uh, leaves the Bath and Body Work type, smoke cedar and oud, hint of evergreen. Want more of this? Would buy like two or three other bags of this size. Love it. Want more? Favorite? Probably favorite thing I melted out of everyone. Um, you guys know if you've been watching me for a while how much I love smoky scents. Love it. Need more of it. Okay. 
Let's see here. Another one from Paw Print Melts. Golden Sands, uh, Bath and Body Works type, I believe. Vanilla, orange, sandalwood, peach, coconut. So this, I don't know. I know, I think I literally just bought the, the oil because it's a Bath and Body Works dupe. I know a lot of people love most of what Bath, uh, Bath and Body Works has. I didn't, I didn't really like it much. And even when I would make the oil or like, you know, pour the oil into the wax. I didn't really like that blend either. So that's fine. I don't like everything in my shop either. Um, let's see here. Pop print melts, sweater weather, autumn leaves, sage, woodsy, spearmint, eucalyptus. This is, I like it. Um, Bath and Body Works dupe coming up on that time. I like sweater weather. I'm not like a diehard fan for it, but I do enjoy it. Okay, I think, yeah, we might be getting into that. Okay, so these are a lot of my testers. Um, so I was testing my, now we're in the parasol. Oh, no, hold on, hold on, hold on. I found other stuff first. Okay, um, Paw Print Melds, Midsummer's Night, Cedarwood, Citrus, Herbal, Bergamot, and Sandalwood. I always say Bergamot weird, sorry. Um, Midsummer's Night, this is a Bath and Body Works dupe. I like it every once in a while, though, because I do still have, like, a, or, no, not a Bath and Body Works type, um, a Yankee Candle type, because I still do have a Yankee Candle wax melt of Midsummer's Night, um, but I do like it every once in a while. Okay, hold on. Okay, so, let's just do this. Okay, so, Cider Lane, I know. Yours obviously will have like stickers and everything on it. But for me, I was like, I don't need anything fancy right this second. So um, Cider Lane, literally just Cider Lane. I love that kind of stuff um, on its own as a blender. That was just Cider Lane. Uh, glazed Donuts and Marshmallow Fluff. I mean, half and half glazed donuts, half marshmallow fluff. I think it's amazing. Um, I'm really getting into Marshmallow Fluff. Blueberry lemon donut. It's a single oil. I would say that you get more blueberry than you do lemon, but the lemon is there. Um, my dad is very into blueberry, and he smelt it, and he was like, you're giving some to me, right? And I go, oh, um, yeah, I guess so. So let's see here. And then salted pretzel milkshake. Um, Diehard fave of mine. It is a Bath & Body Works dupe. I love it. Sometimes you'll see in the notes... For future blends and everything, I'll write like crunchy pretzel in like the um, scent notes. And that's what I'm talking about, the salted pretzel milkshake. And then sometimes you'll see fluffy pretzel or just pretzel. And that is a different blend, more of like a buttery pretzel. I like this one way more. I just like the crunchy pretzels. So um, that's what salted pretzel milkshake smells like. And then just Palo Santo. Like just sometimes I like single oils and then you can... Blend it on your own. Let's see here. Pumpkin pecan waffle and then pretzel. This is the fluffy pretzel. Um, I think they work very well together. That one's a really good one. Pumpkin caramel crunch and apple butter. I'm not a big fan of apple butter, but the pumpkin caramel crunch, I feel like, tones it down a little bit. And, of course, just a marshmallow fireside. Most of these single um, oils were just really nice for me to try the the new formula, the para, the parasoy, um, just because I obviously have vendors that I purchase from that have just paraffin, some have parasoy. It, it's a little bit different when you're spending your money on this wax, making sure it smells good and stuff like that, that you're trying to create for customers. So a lot of those single oils were really helpful just for me to pour real quick and be like, okay, I will test you in um, it says three to five days. I found out that five days is the magic number and everything has been working um, amazingly. So, okay. And then, oh, I do have some other vendors too. This is from Rose Girls, Jumping on Kool-Aid Clouds. I actually really liked it. It smelled like grape Kool-Aid. Um, they were four little squares, little sample. Won't go out and buy that one, but I did like it for what it was. And then another pharmacist daughter, which is, Washed clean, which is fresh linen, clean laundry, icy peppermint. Mm, I mean, I liked it. 
but I am a little scared of laundry scents now because they give me headaches. And from someone that doesn't get headaches at all, I'm not trying to induce headaches. <laughs> so, um, Jelly Glaze Donuts, that's from my shop. Uh, this was in my soy formula. And it was, it was wonderful. It smelled like jelly donuts. Um, again, in my shop, apple cider donut. They were just a bunch of paw prints. And I love apple cider donut. I'm just, I want it in everything. So wonderful. Um, soy formula, another soy formula one from my shop, Cactus Blossom. It, um... I don't know. It was supposed to be kind of like a beachy smell. I I liked it, but not enough where I wanted more of it. So that was fine. And then Frozen Lakes, another one from the Soy Formula. Um, I didn't really like that one, which is weird. Um, it kind of reminded me of like an icy lake. So a little bit of like a spearmint and peppermint. And then... Um, like a beach note as well. I don't know. I just really didn't like it. So that's fine. Okay. And then um, in the Parasoy blend, Mac Apple Funnel Cake and Fluffy Pretzel. Um, wonderful. I thought it was wonderful with the Mac Apple. Mac Apple comes out first and then Fluffy Pretzel and Funnel Cake, I feel like are kind of duking it out for uh, tie for second place. So that is my, um, empties. And, you know, I don't know if I should have put my blends in here, but I mean, they were testers and stuff like that. And that's what I've been melting. So, um, but yes, I do obviously melt from other vendors. I just don't have any empties from a lot of them yet. Um, but I am trying to get through my teddy bees because I have so much teddy bees. And then, I mean, that's probably the most I have from any vendor. Anyway, so this was just a short, simple video. Um, I am going to probably, I don't know, get another one or two warmers when I have spare money. I just, my bedroom one kind of worries me just because it is so big. And I think when I bought it, I was like, oh yeah, like I can fill, I can fit all this wax in there. And then it's like, yeah, but sometimes not everything comes in like, you know, a souffle where I have to chop up like, like my paw prints. Um, I mean, I like those cause it's usually two paw prints in like a normal size warmer. I feel like to get that, my bedroom warmer for it to actually smell, it's like five, five paw prints. And I'm like, losing wax a lot faster which is yay and nay like if you have a lot of wax but it's like I want to savor some of the smells and uh, I don't know and all the scents so I am going to have to get maybe one or two smaller ones and then um it's a little bit different because it's like at the apartment like I had a couple I had like four in my open concept a bedroom one and a bathroom one here I have two in my open concept and then one in my bedroom, and then one in one of the spare bedrooms. The bathroom, I could do it. Um, the main bathroom is just too small, I feel like, with like counter space wise. And then the downstairs bathroom, no one goes down there. I mean, <laughs> so I don't know. Um, and then obviously with me opening my grooming salon, I have to be careful with like what is down there and everything because I don't need dogs jumping on like my desk and then knocking over wax and everything. And obviously it's the same thing with candles. So um, I don't know, maybe we, I could find like a plug-in one where the dogs can't reach and stuff. I don't know. So we're gonna tackle that soon. Um, and then, yeah, I know this has nothing to do with wax, but then just some exciting stuff. Um, I know I told you guys that obviously I'm opening a grooming salon. So I found another plumber because I've had three people come out and give me quotes for installing my tub and everything. and. I was going to have someone come out September 21st, I believe, to do the tub. Um, maybe the 28th, but they were aiming more towards, more towards the 21st. So now I found a different company that will actually do it for like $200 cheaper, which yay. And I know cheaper doesn't always mean better, but um, with this company, it's been in business quite a bit longer than the other company. Um, and I did a little bit more research. Anyways, so they're going to come out to this new company on 
September 7th, install the tub. So that's exciting. So I'm, I'm really excited. So that's why I'm not really doing much with wax. I um, am going to hit Lavender and Speckles pre-order. I really want to do that because I haven't purchased wax, like actual wax, not just like the oils to make the wax for quite a while. And I really want to support Beth. Um, but yes, so I think that is August 25th. That's this Friday, I think. I thought it was 6 p.m. Central Time. I'm pretty sure it is. So I'm really excited about that. And yes, so that's everything. I hope you guys have a good day and I will talk to you later.